Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha, and today we're gonna do a little bit of a collective haul of some beauty buys, and some hygiene, but mostly beauty. So that'd be makeup, skincare, hair care, that I've been picking up, um, and we're just gonna jump right in. I am also gonna share at the end, if I remember, a declutter picture. So it's all the palettes that I've decluttered. I always like to talk about that. Um, I'm not gonna share with you the specific palettes, but it's always good to rotate your collection. So I do sell some on Macari, um, not on Poshmark right now, and then just give some away, but they're brand new and I never used them. I might sell them to get a little bit of my money back because you guys know I do best determined things. So sometimes the products come and they're just not for me, but, um, you know, they're still in the collect a condition where I can get them out to someone else. But there's been a few things that I want to start off with this one. It's kind of funny. So like I said, you guys, I know I tell you all the time, my Walmart does, doesn't keep up with some of the coolest stuff we're seeing. So I don't get the Dove body polishes really quick. I don't get some of the body care. I still haven't seen that blue bottle of the Jurgens Tropical Smoothie um, or even the Cupcake Body Fanties, which is fine. I've gone to two, like one. So I live pretty near Bowling Green, Kentucky, but that's not exactly where I live. So there's two or three Walmarts there. And then I've gone to my local one as well, but that's kind of my area. And um, so it's not even like a small area, but yeah, we just never have the goods. So our friend here, just Kayla Michelle, found the Profusion um, Mean Girls collab. And she found the mirrors and the really cute palettes. And I kept just kept looking, kept looking because I wear like... A pink shirt on Wednesdays a lot. Um, I always love when she posts on Instagram her Pink Wednesday stuff. Super cute. Such a good idea. But um, I had actually had for a long time Storybrooke, Storybook Cosmetics had done a Mean Girls Club. So it was a palette, but I didn't use it, gave it away. So Perfusion came out with a North Shore High School yearbook, 35 shade palette. I haven't tried Perfusion. This was pretty inexpensive. I want to say it was $14.99. So not going to be a big deal, but it comes with all of these shades, which is fun. I thought I could do a couple like fun Halloween looks, you know, just playing with makeup. But I actually wanted the mirror and I wanted the um, smaller palettes, but didn't find them. But this is really fun. And the colors are named really fun things like um, Candy Graham, Buttered Muffin. Um, I'm trying to find some other ones that make sense. Wednesday is this really pretty pink glitter. Uh, pink shirt, that's so fetch, shiny plastics, personally victimized, get in loser, um, don't look at me, oh my gosh, so funny, um, so yeah, you go Glen Coco, oh my gosh, this is just so cute, I had to have something, so I'm super glad I picked this up from Walmart, next we're gonna get into my Ulta box, and this also has some BoxyCharm pop-up stuff, so I get this stuff relatively cheaply, relatively cheaply, um, inexpensive, obviously, um, in the pop-up store. So that's why I always keep my subscription. But as I'm sharing with you my October boxes this month, just to share, um, I'm probably going to make some changes, but that is for another video. So these are different brands I absolutely adore. I got another, this is really fun. It's a Huda Beauty. I'm going to take it out because I, the packaging's all messed up. I don't know why. Was it like taken out and messed with? No. I don't want to even think that way. Um, so this is a double-sided eyeshadow. And it's just kind of like a pale pink. And this is in Private Jet. And then this one is a shimmer metallic side in Shimmering Sunset. Um, so I'll do a little swatch. This is just fun. Like I said, I know a lot of you are here for uh, just Bath & Body Works. But some of you like the makeup content. So I'll probably post a both today just to be... Um, you know, I'll have like a current burn review or something, but this is very fun and this is very wet. So at least it's not all dried out. Again, just something fun to play with. That's a really pretty melon and a champagne color. And these were usually like $30 and I think I got it for less than nine. So that's pretty good. I also grabbed a Huda Beauty um, Demi Matte Lipstick. I do mostly stick to bullets because they're very comfortable, but I thought this color in Shiro was really fun. I need like scissors over here or something to see if I can... There we go. Let's get this out of here. I love her packaging though. Look how cute that is. It's always been that way. And I just love her brand as a whole. Like again, I do love makeup just as much as I love the candles and the things. So it's easy for me to buy um, some of this makeup, even though I don't need any, that's for sure. But this is more like a gloss and I just thought it was really pretty. And again, it was really like a third of the price. I think they're like 60% off. 
So it's that bottom shade. So again, just this will all go together really nicely. And I didn't pay for the two, what I would have paid for the one. I also grabbed a little brush from Persona Blush from Persona Cosmetics in the shade um, Caramel. And again, it was just on sale, but I, you know, love to support this brand. It's like a one own small company, but this is the shade. It's just really pretty. Like I said, I guess I was in this mood because all these colors kind of go together. And then um, I think that's it for for the pop-up shop. This all looks like my Ulta order. The last thing was this palette um, from Blink. And this was really the reason that I put myself back on the list, but I think I'm gonna take myself back off. But this was $50 and I got it for like $9. And it's a palette, but look at these shades, so pretty. So there's the shades and it comes with highlighters. You can use that as a bronzer. Those are blushes. Um, it'll just work for me. So again, for $9, I thought I have a lot of options there. So let's get into my order. It is just a um, e.l.f. order. I love e.l.f. It's something you can get at the at, at the Walmart. I always say that at Walmart, super cheap, but I needed a new eyebrow pencil. So I got this one in dark brown, one I always use. I go through it, but it's like two bucks. I got this concealer to try for under eye brightening. It's the Flawless Bright Concealer, and I'm not seeing a shade. Oh, 26N Light. I got this brush because I've been loving the, um, you guys really compliment my makeup a lot. I've been using a lot of their cream blushes, but it uses a certain kind of brush or it picks up best on a certain kind of brush. And this is the, um, well, it's a complexion duo brush, but the stippling side really picks up the product and disperses it well. So I got that. Um, and then I wanted to try this new mascara. It's the Big Mood. It's super cheap, but it looks like it's got an hourglass brush like the Too Faced one. So for five dollars or less I, yes ma'am um I got to I, I made a diamond again or platinum I can't remember I'm not proud of it but um you always get to pick a free item so I and this it's a decent item like sometimes when you get stuff from Sephora if you shop makeup you'll spend a thousand dollars and get a tiny brush this is a whole powder foundation and concealer from Clinique there were many choices you could pick a hair product a skincare product but this seems nice to me so I wanted to give it a try and something I had never tried before so here's your powder and like I said it um comes with a little poof down here also but I can't get it out but I don't I don't normally use these I use my brushes so um I will have to let you know if I love it it'll probably be in like a review like a favorites or something I've never tried this before but I got that for totally free just for you know requalifying um I tried these I've been doing a lot of just like I was showing you with the um, you know, the Huda products, a lot of monochromatic looks. So if I'm doing pink eyes, I do the same type of color on my cheeks and my lips. So I wanted to give these a try. They were super inexpensive. I wish they don't print the prices on your, um, <clears throat> what is this called? Your, you know, shipping ticket, but I wish they did. That would be great. These were like two or three dollars. So I got the shade, um, Sparkling Rose and Dazzling Peony. And like I said, I can just use these for lips. I can dab it on a brush and put it on my eyes or just my blush. So um, really inexpensive, just fun to play with kind of item. And then of course I did it because um, you got a free, this whole thing for free if you spent like 30 bucks. So I wanted to try this Poreless Putty Primer. This is a Enhancing Lash and Brow Serum, a Jelly Pop, Sour Watermelon Lip Gloss, and then two of their skincare items, which are pretty popular. So all of that came for, I think it was a $20 purchase or a $30 purchase. So pretty good deal in my opinion. And then um, I just was going to use that other code, the $3 off 15, and I needed to spend a little bit more outside of it. So I wanted this shade for a while. It's from Ofra Cosmetics. I'm going to open this. And this is in the shade Brickell. And this is just like a really pretty color to have in the fall. And I, I have a lot of the nudes, but like it's pretty bright. But when you put it on, it looks very brick. Um, so I thought, you know, that'll be fun. Um, Brad always makes your teeth look a little bit whiter, which I could always use. So um, there's that color there. And like I said, just a fun color for fall. These were over half off. So they're usually 20. I think I got it for less than 10 with that coupon. Um, and so that's everything in that box. And then of course it came with this. It's a bunch of different samples of foundation, which I, I'm always really willing to try. This is the Pure 4-in-1 um, Sculpt Concealer. You got the CC creams. 
you got the Good Apple Foundation, and this little one is from ColourPop, pretty fresh. So I'm gonna probably try all those uh, just to see what they do. And then I did end up getting this box because I had resubscribed, but the value is definitely in this one. Um, I didn't really care because I was canceling it. I just wanted to get the item for October, which is coming. So the theme was back to school, and I'm just gonna quickly go through this with you. I'm gonna keep most of this. This is a Glam Glow Youth Mud um, Glow Simulating Treatment. So this is retailed for $60. So again, the box was $25. Um, this is a little three-piece brush set by Elena Badro. This, I feel like, is that item in the box that the, the value isn't really here. It says it's a box exclusive, so you can't even purchase this. It's $58. It's three brushes that I probably won't use, so I might stick this away for, like, a future giveaway. Only because I have so many brushes, not because they're bad quality. I don't know the quality. <clears throat> and then this I'm excited to try. It's a Marula Primer from Georgia Kilt. Kilger and she's been in the box quite a bit and this retailed for 32 so again you do get your money in these if you're interested but you are taking a gamble that you would get a bunch of stuff you're not interested in um this is the saint Lux brow gel i can always use brow gel so i'm excited for that and then this is actually probably my favorite thing in the box and it's the cheapest the brow gel was um 22 and this real hair moisturizing lipstick is 18 and they have a lot of like empowering packaging. So this is never give up the shade. Um, I've tried them in the past. They're pretty good. They're very um, famously found in the subscription boxes. But I mean, this is a really nice like coffee brown nude shade. So definitely right time of year for that. So I'm going to give it a go. But the total for that little box was 190 which I thought was pretty dang good for, like I said, I was going for that one product in there and to be subscribed for next month. And the last thing for the beauty buys, and then I'll let you guys go. I hope this video isn't too long. I finally ordered something I've been really wanting from Lunar Beauty. Now, I know I don't need it, but my birthday is next month. So I treated myself um, to a little sale they had, plus they had a new product out that I really wanted. And I didn't want to wait in case this brand is smaller, um, kind of indie. So it can sell out. So this is something that I gifted myself for my birthday, which is in November. Please tell me someone else does that and that doesn't sound awful. My boys are taken care of. Our birthdays all fall October, November, December. But typically I've always gotten myself something I've just had on my wish list for a very long time. And so Manny MUA, I followed him on YouTube for years. This beautiful th little treat there. He came out with a Moonspell 2 collection. So I got myself a couple things on my wish list, which were these brushes because I've hearing nothing but really good things about them. Um, and then I got the palette, which I'm really excited about. I honestly think this is so, it was so well wrapped. I have to say, um, his palettes are so beautiful that I really struggle to use them, but it comes in like this little bookend type of thing. And so, you know, when I get to where we're going someday, I'm going to have like a shelf that, with like little books that are actually makeup palettes, but this is Moonspell too. I'm going to show you just briefly. Cause again, that's not what this is about, but it is a really cool little packaging moment here. And then <clears throat> inside, all of the names of the shades are from different like TV and pop culture witches. And I just love the purples and those pinks are really pretty too. So I couldn't resist. I have the first one. Now I have the second one. And then um, that's all stained. It makes me sad, but that's okay. Um, I mean, yeah, I just, I, this I had to get myself because again, I knew it was coming out and I was afraid it would sell out. And the last thing is something that's been on my list for like a year and a half. I got them just because again, you know, treat yourself because this month, theme of this month on this channel that you didn't know, but it's Moon Prism Blush. So I've been wanting this cheek palette forever and then it went out of sale or out of stock. And then, <clears throat> you know, I just had to look at this packaging. It's so it's just so cool. And then the inside shades are all, like I said, that Blink palette I bought before this. I probably wouldn't have needed that. But these are all very wearable for me and very fun to play with. You can mix so you don't end up with just six. You could have like 18 different colors here if you mix them together, all of that jazz. Some of them are all matte. There's one shimmer. So that's good because shimmer doesn't look super great on my skin, but I bet you could buff it out. But yeah, I keep the packaging. He's like the only brand I do that with because it's such a part of the experience. Um, at least I do for a while. Then sometimes I get like in my moods to declutter and it goes, but that was exciting. Like I said, I had to get myself something early birthday present. Um, and then I'll just, 
you know, be better. The Sephora VIB sale is on my birthday. Like it starts for, I'm not a top member. I'm like a lower level. It starts on my birthday. So that's going to be a struggle to keep out of. I might just give myself. So I have some money I've been saving with gift cards for the candle day sale, which this is what always happens. I'll have like a good amount and then I buy myself treats for my birthday and I have less. So if I do that, I might get a small amount of things that I've been on my wish list. But anyways, that's all neither here nor there. If you watch this point, this was a rambly just unboxing. I get very excited. I do really love playing in makeup. I'm no expert, but I think makeup is just a really fun way to make yourself feel good. And so, um, you know, if I'm having a hard day or if I'm having a bad hair day, usually I can save it with a really pretty lipstick or a really pretty eye look. And I am happy with that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys if you watch this point or if you watch any part of this video. I really appreciate you. Um, let me know down below if you picked up anything makeup wise, if you like makeup and candles. I always like to know as it grows a little bit here, if you guys have other interests besides Bath and Body Works and candles and stuff, because I do. I collect perfume, candles, Bath and Body Works, you know, hygiene stuff, makeup. I mean, you, if I could get into hair, I'd collect hair stuff too, but I cannot. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the video tomorrow. Take care. Bye.